Hi everyone, I'm Rahil from DevNation. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer for web development. We will look into the IDE that we will be using. In this case, it will be VS Code. I will show you how to download it and how to set it up for success. I will also show you the important extensions you can download for VS Code that will help you write code much faster and in a more efficient manner. So let's dive in. First, we will Google VS Code and download it. I'm using Mac, so I will download the Mac version. If you're using some other OS, make sure to download the compatible version for that specific OS. Once we are done downloading VS Code, we will install it and then open it up. As I already have VS Code, so I'm just going to open it up and show you how to set it up. On the right side, you can see we have the Explorer. This is where all our content will live. Things like the HTML file, the CSS file, JavaScript file, and all our other assets will live here. We can also add a new folder and set up our workspace, or we can connect a GitHub repo. Next, you have the search option. This allows you to search from within your code and make replacements. Then you have the git control and debugging, which you don't really need to get familiar with right now as they're a little bit more advanced features. Lastly, let's look into the extensions part. As this video focuses a lot on web development, let's download a few extensions we will be needing to write code efficiently. Number one, we have the live server. This is one of my favorite extensions. This helps launch us a local development server with a live reload feature. Basically, whenever you're writing code and making changes, this allows you to look at changes in real time without having to reload the entire or rerun the entire code. This saves a lot of time and you'll be much faster at spotting errors. Next up, we have ESLint. This extension actually helps you find and fix issues in your JavaScript code without much hassle. So we will download this as well. Next, we have the Prettier. It's basically an opinionated code formatter that works well, particularly if you are if you have multiple people working on a single project. Because this basically sets up or formats your code every time you save it, which significantly reduces time you need to spend formatting your code. Next we have is the bracket pair colorizer. Everyone loves matching colors. So this extension gives us the opening and closing brackets with matching colors, making it much more easier for us to spot which bracket belongs together. Next up we have is the JavaScript ES6 code snippets. This is extremely important because this gives us the boilerplate for writing JavaScript code. For example, instead of writing this entire import statement, we can simply write IMP and it will automatically write the entire statement for us, saving us a lot of time. I would recommend you learn these and use when you're writing code. Next up we have is the VS Code icons. They actually give us icons for each of our files. For example, an, H an HTML file will have an HTML logo, helping us, you know, making it easy for us to identify which file belongs to which sort of extension. Last, we have the live share. As most developers are working remotely right now, having a collaborative workspace can be a lifesaver, especially when you're pair programming. So this extension allows you to work with someone else from your team on a shared workspace. Next, we can dive into the settings. In the settings, we can change the font size. I'll increase it to 25. Or you can choose some font that you like. 
So completely up to you and I would recommend that you play around with it a little bit more. Let's look at an example. I will add a folder here that I've already created. It already contains an HTML file and I'll show you how smart VS Code can be. By simply writing an exclamation mark, I can actually create a boilerplate for my HTML file. I'll have to write this code again and again, but just using the shortcut, VS Code already helps me save a lot of time. Next up, you can also change the color of the theme. You can choose whatever you want, light. I don't really like the light color. I prefer the black one, so I'm going to switch back to it. But you can play around and see what suits you the best. So, great, we have installed all our extensions and we are ready to get started. Having a configured workspace that is designed to help you become more efficient and effective goes a long way in your life as a programmer. Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. If I missed something, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help you become a better web developer. Till next time.